Mm -hmm. day. Welcome to the third video and chunk of this series. Commendations to you for taking on yet another long video of mine. I hope you can enjoy. Last video I rolled Edgeville, which has four main grinds that I'll be covering briefly straight away. Once again I've put timestamps in the video if you happen to have already seen this chunk before. The four big grinds are Oboe, Briar Fighter, Mining and Long Smithing and Crafting. First off I'll be bossing for some of the best in slot items and uniques. Note that the bonuses from Obo and Briar Fighter are shared drops. The third grind is to mine and smelt at a man site, which requires 70 mining and smithing respectively. The last task will be combining Briar's essence with a battle staff, which requires 62 crafting. Let me know if you want some even more comprehensive intros in the future, where I go more in depth with every single task. Enjoy! Okay, so some initial thoughts here on how I'll go about the chunk. I do think I want to switch it up a bit with the approach, not do one task at a time. Uh, one thing that I will be doing is passively collect 5 mil uh, coins, so I can switch up my uh, respawn point to be here in Edgeville, so I can utilize my uh, cape perk. That should save a lot of hours. Uh, one of my sources say that that the uh, 70 mining, 70 smithing grind is about 500 hours worth of gameplay. And that is walking from the uh, the dungeon to the bank. So I could be saving 100 hours uh, probably from that. But uh, first off, let's uh, do some of the easy task in this chunk. It's the first one now. Guess I chose team yellow. I don't know why. It just felt uh, natural. So weird being down here again such a <clears throat> characteristic part of the game let's try not to get sniped here here's the oh and here's the third one actually quite a huge moment here i believe it's as some fair odds but uh, it's definitely not in my favor blah 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 okay oh what did it say hellhounds okay great he said hellhounds right that's not uh yeah that's a oof and it's actually a task to pick up this mace since it's the best in slot prayer weapon. Yeah, this is a, this is a weird account, I don't know. And this should be the last. Oh, did I just do it by make? I guess I just completed it. I'll be starting the uh, grind off with killing some hill giants, which is uh, the one thing I've been looking forward to the most. It just feels right being back here. Back to the roots. I am gonna send every Opa kill I get. Here I, as you can see, I need I need the armor upgrade, and uh, I think it's time to say goodbye to the Mithril Shimmy. Just realized they dropped Cosmic Runes, which means that I'm gonna finally uh, enchant some Diamond Jewelry. Jewelry. Held on to an easy clue from the Men and Women grind, and I'm just gonna send it. I actually unlocked quite a few steps from Edgeville, so um, let's see if we can string something together. We can't. Briar Feeder is by taking a shortcut here in the dungeon. It requires 51 agil agility, and I'm sitting at 20 at the moment. Uh, there's actually only two ways to get to level 51, and one is lamping. The lamps I'm gonna use for um, farming, since I need to plant some wild top seeds that the must giant drop. And the second method of training agility is by crossing these monkey bars a couple of thousand times. But this seems fairly chill, so this is what I'm gonna do whenever I'm on the mobile phone. Be prepared that I won't be showing too many ag agility levels, I guess. But they'll rise slowly as the video progresses. Another grind that I'll be doing on the phone is fletching to get some Ungstrung bows, which I can sell to get my cash tag up to 5 mil. There's not a set amount of Ungstrung bows that I need to fletch, uh, because I'll be getting some rune armor along the way, which I'll be selling or high elking. I did my first attempt of training agility on the phone today, and it's, it's alright. But uh, I did end up dying, so I'll definitely be needing some rune armor to uh, tank the Euphoria and spider spider thingy thingamajig. So I'm gonna be doing a Q&A with some made-up questions that I imagine you guys would like to ask at this point. Uh, don't don't ask. Um, so first off, Stoey, are you gonna play five hours a day for another year? Good question, am I? I don't plan to, but as I've uh, obviously proven, I have no self-control, so I might end up doing that. At the moment, I'm 
just I just want to chill and uh, I'm not eager to get home and and grind out some mad XP with the men and women I was I was quite determined to get at least 60k uh, defense experience uh, on average per day and it's not the same here and the second question is from yet another handsome Stoey viewer 22 Stoey why are you not updating us on your in real life endeavor and yeah, I know, guys. Uh, I've been I've been slacking on the who asked uh, inputs. Uh, I, I don't really know if you guys enjoy them or not. But uh, yeah, not much going on. In four days, I'm gonna attend the surgery, a hip replacement. So I'm quite excited to to see that. Third question is from Stoey has gone mad, but I still love him. And the question is. Stoey, are you still planning on uploading two years after the, the start of the account? And yeah, so far I'm still quite motivated to upload after two years. And at the moment, it's not. It's been like I'd say a month since my my boy Happery started uploading, and I I really want to have his YouTube excel and grow exponentially. And I think it's it's not my time yet, and I, I don't mind waiting. It's okay. Yeah, so that's it for the Q&A, and uh, thanks for tuning in. And we're back at it again, brothers, let's get it. Quite dry, but um, I'm going to take it as a good sign, in terms of getting some nice loot, hopefully. But let's let's not make it a thing to go dry, okay? There's 40, just finishing off this inventory before we get to the first overkill. Hey. Okay, going in here for the first time ever. I don't have the best of food and I do not have a snare, so it might be a bit of a challenge, but I should be able to, to get it done. Let's get it. Thank God, uh, that was, yeah, well, that was a lot. Okay, what do we have here? A lot of loot. Weapon upgrade and another giant's key, so that's awesome. It's not the uh, the armor, but uh, a success nevertheless, I guess. I, yeah, I'll send it in a second. Just let me rebank. Okay, off to a rough start with the kill, but after that it went pretty smooth. And we got some death runes. It's all right. I... <laughs> <laughs> I've got to record this clip. I'm, I'm just, I'm investigating what I need to do in this chunk, and uh, it's, it's, it's not looking good. You know that half a year I, I was talking about. Right now, I, there might be another method, but right now it seems like I need 62 crafting to use the Briar Feeder Essence on a battle staff, and I'm not sure there's any other way than spinning wool. <laughs> this is gonna, this is gonna be a disaster, dude. Ah, oh, hopefully, hopefully something will come up. Jeez. <laughs> okay, I could spin sinew and get some nice melee stats on cows, but I'm not even sure it's faster. Um, it's only like oh, it's it's fifteen XP compared to two and a half, and uh, it's it's like the same rate, I think. But at least I can mix it up and get, I can get some nice stats. Yeah, uh, pulling up the XP calculator definitely didn't help on anything. It's uh, if it's with balls of wool, it's a two hundred and eighty-three hours grind. Uh, oh, and I, yeah, I still don't know about the cows. It's it's eighteen thousand cows kills. Uh, Nineteen thousand actually. Sorry. Is that more? And it's with the running and yeah, I definitely need to figure out which one is uh, is the faster one. I I probably am having a an overreaction to this. I will get some crafting XP along uh, the way from gems and random events. Uh and yeah, I'm pretty sure the cows will be better. I also will get a lot of law rooms, so I can always teleport back to Lumbridge and use uh, PvP world. So. It's it's not a 280 hours grind for sure. Oh, someone just made me aware that that's a nice way to check out the method. If I click on activity info, I can actually see all the methods. I will need to fix the goals here somehow. But uh, yeah, it's confirmed. It's either the wool or the sinew. Good luck me.
back from a very successful session today with a guilty on the phone. I mean, it's not quite as AFK as uh, chopping down locks, but um, it's it's all right and uh, should be over soon. I think I have what seven, eight hours left of doing that. Man, it's great. I yeah, I can record something every day, multiple times a day. It's it's good being back here to this state. Obviously, the clips won't be flowing as much in um, the nearest future, but uh, yeah, the snare. I can now do Obo more comfortably. Next up, 55 mage, or well, 57 actually. Okay, first kill of the day, uh, gaming. Yeah, and there's that. And there is the magic goal. Actually, it took a bigger dent into the fire rune stack than I thought it would. Another easy goal is to pickpocket a guard at level 40 thieving. And I'm gonna train off farmers, but as you can see, uh, this is not a farmer. Uh, he could be, I mean, I don't know how he ident identifies, but it's a girl, isn't it? Uh, well, anyway, what I'm doing here is uh, getting some uh, butter, or rather some milk to churn some butter, and I'm gonna pick up some taters, and I'm gonna utilize the cape to uh, bank some uh, potatoes with cheese whenever uh, the farmer hits me down to trigger the cape. Yeah, jokes on me for not making some potatoes with cheese before, but uh, I didn't know what chunk I'll get. Thank you, Molly. I'm, I'm starting to get confident with the uh, crafting grind, actually. It's gonna be fun, right? And... There is that. It is now time to send some awards. Please, please, mister. Yeah, that's the nice room battle axe upgrade. Coming in early. I cannot claim that this was calculated, or am I dead? Ah, oh, okay, oh, I don't know what these words are. No words can describe this <laughs> absolute specimen. I'm really, really contemplating what I should pick up from these uh, hill giants. I mean, it's smart, of of course, to pick up the bones and bury them, since I'm, I think it's just two chunks away. Uh, how do I go to the overworlds? Nope. Help. 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 Since, yeah, I'm... Uh, can, can I please get a clip in here? Since I'm only, uh, yeah, one, two, three rows away from 99 prayer. Mm. But then again, it's it really slows down the uh, the process, and I have to bank more often if I, uh, yeah, if I loot all the other stuff. So as I'm just starting out with looting what uh, whatever I can, and then we'll see. Coming up is the first stretch level in well this year and what feels like half a year and the first strength level of this grind i don't want to make a guess at uh, where i end that after finishing obor Bang. just under 2k uh, hill giant kills in and i already got my first back-to-back -back giant key please sit mr giant mr giant please sit oh she okay uh, definitely don't deserve anything nice here and i didn't get it come on come on come on come on room metal I don't need that, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> Getting more handsome by the day. Four keys in under 40 minutes? Okay, trip is done. So seven keys in, uh, what did I calculate? 266 kills. Uh, Jesus. It's not that I'm not appreciative of it. I just feel like uh, something's gonna go wrong with this grind now. For the next kill, I'm about to watch ACW and Hibok Shuan max their accounts. It's gonna be... Uh, it's gonna be a terrible side to uh, compare to my time played, but uh, congrats to those two guys. Uh, they've been entertaining me throughout my journey, and I'm sad to see the series is over. What are we saying? What are we saying? Yes, that's one out of three. Let's go. It's up. Uh, it's on the drop rate as well. Six keys in under an hour. I uh, guess it's just how things are here. I don't. I'm not complaining. And a very cozy, um, I would say about 12 hour grind is about to be done. Um, 12 hour grind on the mobile phone. You could actually just zoom in on the screen and just tap the same place uh, every time to pass the, the calls. Yeah, that's 51 agility. And I can now uh, enter the moss giant area. Let's get there. Let's squeeze in here. Oh yes. This feels uh, this feels like home, guys. This is uh, this is where the true troglodytes live, deep down in a dungeon. First off, I'll be. Oh, I didn't even realize it was an achievement. Um, I'll be finishing off Obor. Uh, please don't make a joke about that. Before I get on with Bryal Fita, so um, hopefully uh, I'll get it in these six keys that I'm about to send. Oh, eight keys, I didn't even realize. Absolute trash ass kill, and it's an upgrade, but. Uh, uh, 
don't deserve it. Pretty much out of snares here, so uh, the next kills, uh, upcoming kills will be rough. Rune Fulham? Yes, that's two out of three. Okay, it's just the club. Uh, just the club. It's, um, yeah, the club left. So weird. Some kills are just, I just smoke him and other kills. Oh, we're back on track with the nature runes. No uh, club in these eight keys, or nine keys actually. He dropped one. There is, okay, I guess not. Just insta ticked out of the <laughs> the screen there's 75 strength yeah not so interesting i know but uh, what is interesting is the 100 combat achieved uh, did you ever think i would get here well, i did but uh, did you i might have to end up breaking on my mobile at some point to hit 26 farming but um, here's 17 happened it happened Oh my god, and just over drop rate. Let me see if I can get it up on the screen right here. Yeah, just over. That's nice. I guess first of many, to be honest, but uh, I don't have to worry about it anymore now. Stumbled upon Mr. Mai over here and had a coach little chat. Shout out, my guy. Shout out. I can't be loud, so I have no idea why I'm killing Obor. Great. Oh, it's actually an upgrade. Nice, guys. Let's go. I'll kill 50. Let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention why. Uh, the rune longsword actually has a... Whopping one second faster average kill on the Hell Giants, so uh, <laughs> making it 17 seconds instead of 18. Uh, absolute uh, blessing right here, right? Uh, in the long term, it's nice, right? So, gotta take the small wins. Splash more, Stoey! Oh my god, this is bad. This is embarrassing. Bad and embarrassing. Terribly embarrassingly bad. Can he hit 27? I don't care at this point. Just clutching it out here in a non-clutch manner. Okay, oh boy. Is the oh my god, why is this the drop? I got spooned on Obor, I got spooned on Obor. Woo! Sensued man. Oh my Jesus. It's uh, it's just oh, it's just too beautiful. I'm I'm lost for words. The hill giant club guys. <laughs> How long did this take? Uh, let me pull up the uh, the KC for the hill giants let's have a look here um doo -doo -doo. 6.2 and it's about this has been about three kills per minute so it's three so 60 it's 180 six two one two divided by it's been about 35 hours uh, of hill giants and it should have been about 70 so i'm absolutely stoked here so then man a New chapter starts, excitement, and I just need free items again. Did I just say just? I am gonna work so hard for these free items. Definitely won't get spooned this time. There's no way. There's the first musky key, KC347. So uh, I'll take it as a sign again. Good things are to come. You might have guessed it. First time killing. Oh, attempting to kill Pryo, and I already messed up. Uh, let's see what I can do. <laughs> Absolutely atrocious, but uh, got through it. And it's one out of three. Uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's great. Surely nothing bad will happen. I wasn't even aware that I was uh, gonna hit a thousand here. There's key number two after, uh, I would say six hours. Yeah, two keys in six hours. Not uh, not after the best start here. Didn't realize you couldn't hit prior when the growth links are alive. So uh, this was an absolutely atrocious kill as well. Next will be better. Next will be better. Let's see Bryo. Okay, it's just an achievement. I stopped recorded and I made it back and I got some... I got the root sword. Nice. I got two, so the rune swords actually bring down the uh, kill time of the Mush Giants from 28 seconds of lead down to 24 and a half. So a uh, huge improvement actually. Nice to get that early on. So Solo Mission just released his new quest, uh, oh, well it's not new anymore, quest Cape Speedrun series. And I realized that I actually didn't finish uh, Numbridge because I did not start Rune and Mysteries. Uh, I really wasn't... Uh, shape for this type of account there we go i wish i could trade some of my persistency with some intelligency but um uh, can't have it all god damn it dude this ad strength and <laughs> i'm gonna trade attack now uh, it's, it's hard it's hard making videos guys come on 
give me a break and we get some plate legs uh let's see with the slippers oh this is actually quite nice i'm gonna go with the plate legs now i'm gonna start recording and then it's gonna spawn the little thingy with yep it's always like this guys 20 hours into the grind the very first back-to-back -back key. not bad uh, this this moves slowly you guessed it i missed it 70 attack i think i might go for some strength levels again 85 it's gonna look nice I'm so very exhausted today. I threw a bachelor party for one of my best friends yesterday and it went well. And what happened? I got 90 HP today. And Brio, do you have anything else to add? I guess some more rune swords. It's all right. You're fucking kidding me with this RNG. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll ever get to enjoy this uh, Brio feeder fight. I just got off work and there is 65 prayer. Can now wear some druid, uh, third age druid things. Nice. And uh, I got four days off work now. So it's time for some gay, 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 gay gains. I'm actually going to check how disgusting I can be over these four days. Oh, what a morning I'm having here. A back to back mussy and here's the tostal seat. It's, uh, it's the most red rub, I believe. Actually, it went a bit dry for the tostal. Today is also the day where I am exactly one month uh, out from my very first half marathon. I might have mentioned it, I don't think so, but I started training back in September last year. I've been struggling with shin splints ever since 2020 uh, because of the lockdown. I started running because I couldn't go to the gym, they shut down. And I picked up some shin splints and uh, didn't get to treat them in time. The past, what do I, I've been running now? half a year bit more i've been it's been up and down with the shin splints and um, i've been man managing to get in some decent training but still struggling a bit i dare to predict the time i'll finish the half marathon in i'm pretty pr proud of how consistent i've been even though it's been uh, very uncomfortable and sometimes even uh, too painful to run but uh, let's see maybe today will also mark the day where I get the bryo essence would be nice bryo Nah. Slappity bab, wabbity bab. Oh, that's the Runite bars. Uh, two of them? What does that confirm? 96. Oh, what? 96? 97? Oh, it's, that's 99 smithing uh, cemented right there. Braille Vita. Baby boy, we get my rip. Oh, that's a good elk. Creeping up to 50 feeding just from suiciding on the guards. What can I do here? Bunch of nothing. So, since I had a death here, this actually marks the halfway spot to the drop rate of the essence. Oh, sat here watching the Hobbit man. The Hobbit man. No, it's just the Hobbit. Uh, and it's even my favorite level to get. Besides 99, of course, 85. Looks so good, uh, but I'm gonna train and tag up to 75 now. I'm at a point where I'm expecting it every kill, so that's not a good thing. That's some nats. That's a good thing. And it has come the fourth day of the gaming uh, marathon. Uh, what's that? 39 hours, I believe. Uh, not even 10 hours a day? Rookie numbers. Hmm. Come on, Stoey, what are you doing, man? Never catching these levels, or at least not as often as I'm supposed to. 75 stack, um, I, fi I think I should get 80, but uh, CP, I'm, I'm down bad for 90 strength right now, so I'm gonna pursue that. Hey, yo, troglodytes and other fellow creatures. It has now been a month since I rolled the Edgeville chunk, so I thought I might give an update. Uh, gonna start out talking to Hans. Uh, looks like I'm still a filthy, disgusting nerd. <clears throat> Now, what has happened throughout this month? I have gained some decent levels in the melee stats. I have gained a lot of magic levels, some uh, fletching levels and thief levels. It's all good, yeah. And uh, agility, of course. Almost up to 91 hit points. As for what has happened in real life, I have bought a car, actually. Not that I needed one, but that was just an offer I could not decline. So I am now a proud owner of a Skoda Octavia. Yep. Real, uh, real family car. Now I just need the uh, the dad bud and uh, yeah, the wealth of family. And in terms of the bank, it has not increased too much in value, even though I've played a lot. And the reason for that is, as you can see, I have fledged 
a lot of my locks. Let's see, it's uh, 25 each compared to how much of these. Yeah, so it's half, uh, half the value. Got a lot of rune, obviously. I haven't done any additional woodcutting. Got a lot more gems, so the clip where I freak out about the, the long crafting grind, it's not gonna be... It's gonna be bad, but it's not gonna be that bad. As for what is gonna happen moving on, I actually am gonna sell a lot of stuff from the bank now and elk all the high value stuff to see where I'm at with my cash stack. I need 5.2 mil and I, yeah, I'd rather not fletch uh, too many longbows because I wanna get started on uh, raking so I can get up to 28. Uh, farming, but yeah, I'm gonna update after I spend. Uh, oh my god, it's gonna take. I'm not gonna world help to sell all of these because yeah, CBA. I got loads of locks, right? It's gonna take some hours. I'll king, uh, whatever, like, uh, clue items, and yeah, all of these. But uh, I'll be back with an update. Let's see. Uh, let's see what I get if I just sell uh, all of them. Oh, that's so sad. Like there's no money. I spent at least at least five hours, I think, fletching, if not even more. Um, can't really keep track. Oh, the value. Yeah, let's uh, let's go with the willows now. <clears throat> That's it for the elking. Got a few levels, which is nice, but elking on the phone is not recommendable. Anyway, you're here to see uh, how far I got up in cash, just under three mil, which uh, from yeah one month of uh, intensive gaming is yeah. the Lord's name in vain. Um, I'm just gonna say it. Yeah, I said it, and hopefully. Uh, Hopefully we can get up to 5.2 mil before we initiate the... What am I saying? I want to start the mining grind now. I don't know. I want more money. I've run uh, past here quite a lot of times now. And every time I got to peek over and see if any fool has fallen into the trap. <laughs> These fights, man. Sometimes I use like five potatoes. And other times I lose like 20 hit points. I mean, uh, variation is great, right? It's just a filler. Filler clip. Milestone Casey. Milestone Casey, what am I saying? <laughs> yeah, uh, 100. I obviously want it to be done by free, but uh, I'll take it. <sighs> Not this again, man. That's 53 thieving. Can't wait to do Desert Treasure. Oh. Creeping on up to that drop rate so I can finally, well, complain uh, justifiably. 112. Unfortunately, I don't think I can use all, all of my lamps here, but. Uh... Let's get the dopamine. Pretty sure I just use one more and I wait for another random uh, exam, right? 20, that's 200, that's 300. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's get the level. Ba, 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 ba. 21. Okay, here's the uh, drop rate, Casey. Are you kidding me? Okay, one kill later. Ah, it's, uh, it's a joke. It's a joke at this point. Here comes 92 hit points after like nine. I don't know, 9-10 months of uh, combat training, so that's pretty disgusting. Hopefully, uh, or luckily, we don't have to worry about the 99 grind just yet. I want to say it's going to take a while. Here are the rates. Um, it, it, this, this is about as average as it gets for killing most giants and running back and forth. Yeah. I forgot an X after... Oh, it was a show here. 120... I've got an X. Yeah, that's one hour out the window. Can't re enter, right? It's locked. Didn't get poisoned that nice. That nice. That commentary. Hopefully, my commentary won't fail me. What am I doing? Uh, that's 90 strength. And uh, I think I'm gonna level attack up to 80 because killing Briars. Okay, I'm convinced. So, another three weeks has passed since the last. Uh, Big updates. I've just finished spinning some flags and uh, making some U longbows because I intend to uh, clean up in my bank again, see how far I'll get. Probably close to 5 mil. I've, um, as you can see here, I've, yeah, I've been fletching a lot uh, on the mobile and it's getting kind of boring. I think I've spent this in addition with the other batch I did was about 78k. So that's somewhere between 40 and 45 hours for was going to be a total of, I guess, it's going to be close to like 500k, which uh, I, I CBA, I'm just going to get it from uh, farming most giants and Brian. Uh, so I'm going to sell these and I am going to elk all of these goodies and see where it'll, it'll take me. 
Uh, and then when it's done, I'll start farming where I got a rake on the uh, the patch just north from here. You can rake once every five minutes, so that's a bit more chill when I'm on the, on the mobile phone. All right, trucks, after a combined 200 hours of Obor, Hill Giants, Mush Giants and Bryo, along with, yeah, 40 to 45 hours of Fletching, finally up to 5 mil cash, bam. Which means that we can now acquire the respawn here in Edgeville, if I can uh, understand how to do it. Yeah, I found that it was Crystalia. I will now spawn in. Oh, I will now spawn in Edgeville, which means that my uh, must giant strips will be uh, a bit faster. Uh, hopefully, I'm not quite gonna sp uh, reveal how many must giants I've killed yet. At the moment, I'm sitting at 100 and s about 166 hours of must giants. In other way less exciting news, I actually got injured about three weeks ago and I oh, I was supposed to run the half marathon here in two days, but uh, my groin and hip and lower back uh, ha has been absolutely nagging me and uh, yeah. even though I, I really wanted to run the half marathon no matter what, I, it's just not the, the bright choice to do so. So uh, yeah, unfortunately I'm not going. Maybe I'll sign up for a half marathon come September. Definitely want to do it. First kill after getting the itch will respawn. Okay, just swimming in geese here. As of yesterday, I started farming on the phone. This very intense raking content. It's about, what is it, 4, 12 times 4. It's 48 uh, experience an hour if I do it efficiently. Aiming for uh, 28 farming and then I can plant the, the wild hubs. But yeah, this means that I won't be playing as much on the phone. I'll just log in occasionally uh, once every 15 minutes when whenever possible. And uh, that will result in my hours a day uh, going down significantly. Right now I'm sitting at 20, uh, sorry, 95 days played and I'm just gonna run to hands to check on if I've kept up with the five hours a day. Another thing is that Next weekend, I'm going on a summer house trip with some of my friends that I study with for four days. So I won't be playing there as well, uh, which means it'll drop even more. Although I will be locking in to do the farming. Gotta, gotta stay on some kind of grind ride. Where are you at, Hens? Let's see um, if I, I don't think I can quick map this. That flew by quickly. Nice block. Same take. Inquisitor. Hmm. Scythe. Nice. Anyway, moving on with strength now, progressing towards 99. Special kill right here, as you can see I have two bones, and in combination with these two bones, I will hit 70 prayer. Fantastic level, if I was a regular Iron Man, but uh, unfortunately we can't use it for much. Um, well, that's actually quite a few things. I actually only thought it was for piety, but uh, yeah. Back from some house, managed to get 25 farming, now about to send two keys, so let's get it. 26, two levels to go. This is actually going way faster than I expected. Took me four hours to get this key, Brio. It happened. So come no man. Fucking Enli. Oh, okay guys. <laughs> Moving on. It fucking happened. Oh, okay. That was a huge relief. Ended on, uh, let's see. Yeah, quite a satisfying number actually. This is the loot. I didn't pick up everything. Mostly the elks and the... Um, herbs and seeds. I chose not to pick up the insult heads because I figured I'd never get there to say. So now I am heading to the bank. I got a few things I gotta do before I start the mining grind. I'm gonna enchant all of my ruby rings into ring of forging so I can mine iron along the way. Primarily I'll be doing silver but I'll be uh, saturating the, uh, the ring of fortunes and then uh, moving on to silver. Okay, I'm gonna do a bit more comprehensive showcase of the bank here uh, after about, two, uh, I would say, a 230 hour grind at Brio. Finally made it. I want to highlight the runes. I got just tons of runes. Absolutely blessed. Oh, and the nature sign here. Other than that, I mean, it's just a growth of uh, arrows and uh, seeds, of course. Lo uh, loads of seeds. Ended up with 243 Reynolds. Actually not worth that much. What else? What else? Uh, the gems, obviously. Very nice with the gems. Helps out a lot with the 
grind of 62 crafting. No other interesting loot, really. I think I only got two curved bones from, if I'm not mistaken, from the grind. Oh, three, actually. Yeah, but uh, a bit under drop rate. Got tons of runes, uh, rune javelins, actually. Uh, so, yeah, I estimate the grind of uh, Obor and Bryo if I was on drop rate to be about 200 hours. And I went on for a combined, what was that? 267. So. Not too great, not too bad. I'm gonna elk all of this stuff whenever I'm on the phone because I, I'm just too eager to get on with the mining grind. So there's two ways to go about the mining grind, really. I can use the anvil and lumbridge and just go for tin and, and copper, but it's not really that effective compared to just smelting silver and iron ore. I'm sitting at, where did I put them? Sitting at 50 rings of fortune. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna go about the mining grind. Okay, so here is how it's gonna go. I'm in a PvP world, so I am next to a bank whenever I get teleported here by the cape. I'm then gonna pick the nettles over here and sit in the uh, range of the teleport mechanism, as you can see right here. Uh, to stay at this health, I am gonna flick rapid heal uh, and I'm gonna let a mob down in the dungeon attack me whenever I want to teleport back. Already up to five mining. And here's the first trip done, six mining. I, uh, oh, that's the one that gets the steel pickaxe. Perfect then. And, ah, uh, yeah. 2,000 uh, tin ores, tin veins, whatever, are gonna be uh, mined, and then I'm gonna make some bronze bars out of that. Uh, I think that's the smartest start. Should get me up to like 30, 30 smithing, I believe. We'll see. Once you go black, I actually never go back. It's the best I get for the long grind. By the way, starting at 97 days was played in 3 hours. It's good. Fifth in mine. I can now start with the iron, but uh, I'm only 150 into the tin grind, so uh, I have to put that on hold for a bit. Caught it. 20. Silver. 30. Right, so got up to 65 magic from elking the last goodies. Alright, so after elking the remaining goodies from the brow grind, I'm at 665k. I also got something in the bank, but a loan from the grind. And now let's get this task out of the way of uh, getting another gravestone. 200k. Angelic. I'm not reading. Okay, I got it. I got it. I, I thought it could only hit freeze. Please don't. Oh, I can't. No, let me get the 10. Let me get the 10. Oh, max efficiency. Back to you. And... Send me away. Uh, guys, this this is actually very, very enjoyable, this grind. It's these uh, weird gimmicks where you find uh, special ways to play the game that really drag me into this type of account. I'm having a blast. Right, so the uh, last inventory of tin ore is done. Uh, the ratio doesn't check out one to one, but it's whatever. I have actually chosen, without looking into which is faster, to just smelt the... Uh, all the bars here first, and then I'm gonna smith out the words. The uh, other method would be to uh, bank here in the PP world, run and smelt, and then smith what would be 13 bars. So uh, I don't know, this seems more chill to do at the uh, Edgeville Bank, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, up to almost 15 smithing now, about a fifth of the way, but uh, unfortunately I've run out of uh, run energy, so I need to go suicide uh, in game, of course. And I am definitely gonna surpass 30 smithing when I <laughs> smithed all these bronze bars into plate bodies. I don't know where I got that 30 into my head, but uh, that's a nice uh, little discovery or nice news. Or I don't know, I should end this clip, shouldn't I? Yep. All right, that's the last of the bronze bars. Uh, got up to 29 smithing. Just about to send 2,000 bars here, make them into play buddies. I just got back from the Elbow Carnival, and uh, hopefully no one will PK me, because I'm really just, uh, I really just want to recline in the chair and uh, have a nice cozy grind here. I'm not sure about the uh, energy. I might run out. All right, so after one and a half hours, I've I'm at the last inventory and I hit 40 smithing, which means that I will be needing to smelt uh, 68k iron ores or 61k, I believe, as the boss. I got the, the free uh, 7000 iron ores from the, uh, the Rings of Fortune, and uh, the rest of it is gonna be uh, silver. Now the long grind begins. I uh, didn't get PK'd here, by the way, which was nice. There's 40 mining. Uh, it does seem like I'm gonna run out of uh, energy a lot. The way I move around these rocks, but um, eventually it's only the uh, silver, so I'm gonna weld up, I guess. But for now, just gotta bite the bullet. 
Did I just get a double emerald from the same aim? Fitty! Just a regular Wednesday here, and you can probably tell what's about to happen. Here is 28 farming. I'm not sure how long it took, but it, it, it felt like it went by pretty fast. Okay, Hops Patch, can we please? Feed! Anyway, I hope I uh, gathered the correct tools to... But what the fuck is going on, man? I, I hope I gathered the right tools to uh, uh, plan these wild blood hubs, wild blood seeds, sorry. I haven't done farming in a while. I need to do the compost first, don't I? Or can I just do it afterwards? Okay, okay. No worries, no worries. And some water rights. Good luck me. See you when they harvest. Right, the 18 minutes, yes, cycle should be done. I can now harvest the... The hops, which is a junk task. Lovely. Moving forward on the mobile phone, I'll still be uh, farming, I guess. And alongside that, I'll probably be chopping these willows to get some bird nests. Uh, but, but before that, I'm actually going to get 50 free agility to uh, get into a new restoration bracket so I can preserve some run energy whilst running uh, back and forth from the, the mining grind. Uh, should should save me maybe an hour if I'm lucky or two should be worth it the uh, I estimated the mining grind to be about 300 hours but uh guess I'll catch up on that when it's done and also the crafting grind is still at least 100 hours so uh, enough time to use the 500 hundred something uh, wild blood seeds I got and here is 60 mining what I have been doing so far is to mix it up with the silver and iron ores. But I actually kind of regret it because the success rate of mining the silver rocks at this level is not too great with the black pickaxe. So what I'm gonna do for the remaining of my 7000 iron ores is just to, yeah, just spam the iron ores, hopefully get a few levels and then uh, jump onto the silver grind. Okay, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. I forgot to leave. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's what happens when you play with a hangover. Just lost all of my wild blood seats and all of my coins. Uh, well, I guess there's nothing to do about it now. Can't go and pick it up, right? What are what are the odds that some guy shows up? It was over here by the canoe. He didn't even, he didn't even chase me. He was just coming from the Grand Exchange. Ah, oh, God. Well, it was a great wedding yesterday. Maybe he left his shit. Probably not, right? Way. Right, so it's the following day now. Um, what did I lose yesterday? I lost about 200 hours of progress at the Moss Giants. Now, is that a problem? It could be, but uh, not, uh, not yet, actually. Uh, it's only a problem if I roll this chunk next uh, due to the patch here with the potato cacti. Then uh, the only way to train is still with the... Uh, Hubs patch over here. Although it's not really 200 hours of playtime lost because I would still have to wait for the um, wild bloods to grow and yeah, I could just farm meanwhile. But yeah, it's, it's devastating if I get this one. And if not, it's fine. If I get this one, I can edit and it's whatever. Uh, at this point, I'd actually rather have this one, even though it's a longer grind than this. Now, if I get this one, I'll have a master farmer to oh, pickpocket, and then it's the 200 hours is no problem. Right, moving on with mining. Okay, so you can get through this clip. 7,500... Mind. 50 forgings. Yes, yes. Gotta do that on the phone. And now onto the silver grind. Perfect clip. Eighth take, we'll take it. After smelting all of the iron, along with the mithril ores I have saved up, I'm... Up to, yeah, well, this much smithing is XP, which means that I'll need to smelt about 44.4k silver ores. Actually, yeah, over a tenth of the way, so that's nice. Yeah, let's keep grinding. Right, this uh, grind is kind of terrible, actually. It's, um, it's not much to record, as you might have guessed, other than these uh, nice levels. Here's 70. What does that unlock? The adamant, right? So that's one of the, the tasks. But yeah, it's... Um, it's kind of a struggle to get through. Uh, one thing is that it's very inconsistent with how fast you mine the silver rocks, and that's kind of annoying. Another thing is, um, obviously, I'm watching something on the side over here to the left, and 
there aren't any really good visual cues from uh, from getting a, a vein or getting it at all, other than the experience popping up, like the color difference isn't big. So I kind of have to be more active at uh, glancing over at the screen all the time, which is annoying as well. At the moment, I'm sitting at about 10.5k XP an hour, say, at uh, average, which means that I have about, I don't know, 150 hours left, 140. The smithing grind itself uh, is kind of chill. It's uh, on the phone. I got 60 today. Yeah, okay, so just hit 75 mining, and for some reason the microphone was set to default, and not the uh, HyperX one I got. Uh, what did I say? Yeah, I felt like saying hello in the clip because it's been so long since I recorded anything. It takes forever in between these levels. Looking at 13, 12, 13 hours until the next one. So, Forestry released today, and uh, I can't join in the fun really. All I can do is collect these bugs. On with the digging. Right, so another two weeks has passed and uh, I've managed to achieve 80 mining. Size 8 stars, very nice. So still gotta mine about 2000 more silver ores, it's about 600 world ups. However, I will uh, round this grind up now. Um, it was mid, it was mid, to be honest. It uh, went by way faster than I thought it would in combination with the smithing but uh, just wait a moment and i'll show the time when i finish up smithing something that uh, that i disliked a lot was that there was no variation like i thought i was going to get a lot of clues but to be honest i got like two mediums and two uh, hearts in like in total uh, from yeah way over 200 hours of grind oh not really with the with the um, mining but 160 probably hours of mining and yeah it was just no variation i got about um, one gem an hour maybe two gems guess we can see in the bank video when i round it off completely man i don't know what i'm gonna say i don't know what to say man it's, i haven't recorded for two weeks that's just nothing in this grind and there we have it 70 smithing uh oh forgot to bring the adamant or to smelt the bar but uh yeah Another big grind is done. Uh, let's just bring it all, whatever. After what is like 14, 15,000 world hubs, um, finally done dwelling down in the sewers of Edgewill. Uh, hopefully not coming back there, but there is a chance. Let's have a look at the bank right here. Uh, this can go into my chunk slot. What I should love the gems here. I didn't get a lot. Unfortunately, 10 of these at most are from random events and the rest are from mining. So about one an hour or so. Uh, I guess I put a comparison on the screen. Other than that, smelted uh, well over 50k bars. And next up is the crafting grind. But uh, first off, I'm gonna cut these, of course, and then I'll jump into what's uh, what's gonna go down. I almost forgot we're supposed to talk with Hans, as we always do, to see about the playtime almost up to 500 days now yeah so this grind took about 230 240 hours uh, it's a bit hard to tell because i did do a bit of wood cutting but not more than five hours i believe so way faster than expected i was expecting at least 300 hours with the cape uh, since it was about 400 to 500 hours without the cape so very uh, very happy about that now on to the crap. <laughs> through that in 18 minutes some very nice xp let's check it out uh 53k 54k look at those rates insane won't see those again for a long time uh also got some flex i'll do that in a bit i need to kill 15,000 cows okay well to be exact 15,210 
no idea how long that's gonna take uh, but not too long I assume and then I have to yeah make the meat into sinews and sinews into crossbows and not sure about that either but uh, let's get it oh got myself a nice genie on my way down to spin the flax let's put that on farming it's 31 the troglodyte is heading out on an adventure yet again and once again, I bring my trusty friend, the defense cape, which is going to be a huge help for me here as well. And now there is quite a few ways to go about this grind. I've opted to go with the melee route. I uh, could get a lot of nice range experience killing these cows, uh, magic even. Uh, but this should speed up uh, the kills per hour. I believe so, at least. I haven't done any testing, obviously. A downside to this is that I might have to move around a bit more in here compared to using uh, ranged or magic, which might cost some run energy. However, these should go down way faster. Now, that should be a, a bonus ride, a pro. However, when I need to get teleported back, that might be a problem because with range, I would obviously not be able to hit eights, and they can just teleport me back instantly. But I will in inevitably one shot these guys a lot, as you can see. So teleporting back might not always be as perfect as I planned to be. But yeah, it should be all right. Now I could also pick up the cowhide, but I've already got eighty crafting banged if I use all the silver ore, and yeah, it's not really gonna be that much experience uh, preparing for an if. It's not even sure that I'll be needing the crafting experience uh, for a good while. So I'm just gonna take uh, all of the meat and yeah, let's see how long this takes. Being in the PvP world, I obviously won't get any random events. I could get quite a few uh, random events who could uh, that could give crafting experience, but um, comparing it with running to the, uh, the bank upstairs, I I think it's a better idea to use the bank downstairs. So whenever I get down to the last beef, I'll just equip the cape and have them attack me. Now, I could have this on all the time because there is, actually is a chocolate effect, but it's multiple clicks. So I think it's smarter to do this. So yeah, that's the first inventory in what, three, three and a half minutes if I do it optimally. Let's uh, not step out of the chunk border here. Perfect. And we repeat. One and a half inventory and I'm already out of run energy. By the way, can we talk about how it feels like the account is going backwards here? Then cows now after two, <laughs> plus 2,000 hours. Well, okay, so I want to talk a bit about the rates here at the cows. As you can see, it's quite nice with the experience, actually. Oh, well, at least to my standards, 14.2k. And as you can see, it actually took almost four hours to collect all these. So the looting part really hurts. But yet again, I overshot how long I thought it was going to take, which is... Very sweet. Uh, anything else to state? My eyes are hurting. My hands are hurting. In other words, great sense of accomplishment. Oh yeah, and I, uh, <laughs> the rates, <laughs> the rates aren't actually one to one because I was uh, I actually got killed one time and now a second time. <sighs> you proud, bro? Can't even type. What you doing? Yeah. Uh, Tijin stuff. <laughs> One final trip, just need two more pieces of meat and I can scream Kawabunga. Anyway, let's uh, get out of here. I uh, can now move on. Yeah, they don't stop coming. And uh, this grind wasn't too pleasant. I got killed about 20 times and uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a lot of clicking, especially when you have to right click all the time to pick up the meat. And yeah, time to some more relaxing. Grind now, I can watch a movie, I guess. I'm gonna treat myself to some BBB. Um, Bird Box Barcelona. Anyway, see you when I hit 62 crafting. Cool, all right. In about 30 seconds, I'll be done with the junk. You know what that means. Yeah, here's the last crossbow string. Can now, it doesn't even show the Bryo Vita staff. Let's head to the bank. Not, not much of an update to make here. Just got a lot of crossbow strings now, which actually has quite a nice value, but uh, not sure when I'll get to use them. No more postponing. Let's grab that one. This one. To just combine them. Holy! Bryo Fita! 
looking a bit Gandalf y. Time to head to hands and uh, it's on with the junk rolling. I'm, I'm, I'm frightened this time. My hands, my palms are so sweaty. Please take the dunes, man. Where are your hands? Okay. So, yeah. Uh, past 508 days. And yeah, this grind took about 60 hours. So it was kind of a breeze compared to the, the other grinds. However, the cow killing. Uh, I would prefer not to get that again. Is that all? I think it's all. Let's head over to the, uh, the junk map.